Hi guys, this is Steve from Ukraine Doncaster channel. Um, today I've got um, Hanadi Polishchuk, who's the director of uh, the Ukrainian Business Club. So welcome, uh, Hanadi. Thank you for having me. The easiest way for me to start is just tell us your story. How did you find yourself in England? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a deep question. So as, um, uh, as we all know, when, uh, when uh, in Ukraine started war, uh, a lot of Ukrainians become refugees and try to uh, find some safe place uh, abroad. Yeah, so for all, our family was uh, between them. And we choose England because um, in England uh, uh, we are living for 10 or maybe more years, uh, relatives of my wife. So uh, we've been in Poland uh, sometimes a uh, few weeks and after that we opened the visa to, to UK. And we live in Cornwall. Now we have been living in Cornwall for more than two years. And uh, so children go to school, uh, nursery, mm, my wife go to work. I try to do some activities, uh, particular is uh, Ukrainian business club, my some service. Probably I tell you more before, after yeah. Okay, so so let me ask you: How is uh, your your family uh, adapting to, to to living in Cornwall? And why Cornwall? Why not London or Manchester or Leeds? Why Cornwall? The first and main reason was because we have relatives here, mm -hmm. and uh, it's quite difficult if you don't know if you know if you don't know any anyone in in your country. Sure. Yeah, and as we're talking about adaptation. Uh, Probably for children, it was the, the easier easier for children. They go to school, involved in the uh, different additional clubs, have a friend, have a fun. For instance, the younger one, a very funny mixed uh, Ukrainian and English language, and it is <laughs> every, every time interesting mix interesting mix so good. it's it's good okay. adaptation for children next one uh, was my wife who who uh, have learned english before and um, feel feel more more, more fluent and yeah. last one was me okay who, <laughs> who had to learn english uh, very hard and uh, and sure. uh, you know, it's a it's a natural natural process. Yeah. So it sounds to me as if um, language is obviously something that's very important to adapting to to English life. But are there any other cultural things that you've discovered that that make life in England different from living in Ukraine? In Britain is a beautiful country. Yeah, definitely no doubts. <laughs> <laughs> but your homeland. Always the best. Okay. Always the best. And for instance, um, in Ukraine, in Ukraine, we have you. You know, you know people. You know customs. Yeah. You know what you need to expect. You know how to. You need to deal with people. These people. How do you run a business? What you? What about taxes? What about medicine? A lot of a lot of things. And uh, for instance, where uh, my my parents live in the village, yeah. Okay. And for instance, in Ukrainian village, all people have uh, land and uh, farm. So it's. Uh, mm, it's I could find a lot of differences, yeah, yes. But but uh, in the uh, main, uh, probably it's um it's a lifestyle, yeah, yeah, yeah. lifestyle. And uh, <clears throat> another one, what I want to say, it's about um, mobility and speediness, yeah. Yeah. For for instance, in Ukraine, uh, our society where Mm, very mobile, mobile, and yeah. social lift moving very fast. 
for instance, in Ukraine, I have two uh, line of business. Uh -huh. So one of them was uh, entertainment center. Okay. And I have uh, uh, and I have administrator. This was a young girl who working very good as administrator. Yeah. At the same time, she make craft candles and sell by Instagram, by some marketplace Ukrainian. And after 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 she. Um, became uh, now she's became manager of uh, a legal firm so it's very it could be very fast you could you could do something specific and uh, could leave it and do something another and today you are line personal tomorrow you are manager yeah mm -hmm. for instance i recognize in england it's uh, much slowly for instance, for become even supervisor or team team leader or something like that, you need to work a few years, maybe five years, maybe more, mm -hmm. and uh, don't uh, don't don't be a supervisor or something. Like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For and another way, another difference is big difference, I guess, uh, in Ukraine for. For good average living, yeah, you need to earn, um, I don't know, two thousand dollars, for instance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a it's a good good income, not bad income yep. in Ukraine. And uh, for for this, you need to work in a IT company, for instance, or to be a one of top management team or doing own business. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people start business because they want to live better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can't need to live better. And uh, here, here in mm -hmm. Britain, people just uh, go to job, have a good salary and can afford for self everything what they want. Even uh, um, tourists traveling, uh, buy a car, buy a house, everything, everything. So there are no big reason, big reasons to mm -hmm. start business because business is every time is a big challenge. Mm -hmm. Challenges. You need to know and refresh your knowledge every time. You need to follow the trends. You need to know your customer needs. You need to face uh, legal demands, insurance, a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And it's quite difficult. It's uh, much easy. Go to job, yeah. do the best, return home and have a fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I can identify with that because um, a, a lot of people, they don't want the responsibility of uh, a business. They would rather work five days and then have the weekend to enjoy themselves and then go back to work and let somebody else worry about the business. So I understand uh, that. But I think slowly, slowly, more and more people are thinking, you know, I work very hard. Why am I working for somebody else's dream? I want to work for my dream so that I'm successful. So there are a few people that you know are changing. But the one thing I would also say to you is I've noticed that Ukrainians are very creative. And um, you only have to look at, at the way the war is happening in Ukraine with the drones and with the sort of IT situation where the Ukrainians are, are really doing some amazing things bearing in mind they have such limited resources and such a small amount of manpower, and, and that's great. So now we, we, we decided to get together to talk about business. So let me ask you, tell me a little bit about your own business background. Uh, yeah, in addition to my answer for previous question, I yeah. agree with you, uh, creativity is, uh, is one of the main treat of ukraine and we know how to s survive because our history is the uh, most strong evidence for that mm. 
for instance, when uh, England, uh, I um, quite often meet people, especially in Eng English Business Club, where mm -hmm. I I remember, these people uh, have a lot of generation before, yeah, yeah, and uh, there there uh, wasn't uh, some big, I don't know revolution or even big uh, war or occupation yeah mm -hmm. and people have this opportunity generation by generation by generation create the some fortune and give the your children grand, grandchildren and so on so on in ukraine we uh, we live in U uh, soviet union you know mm -hmm. and um, for for instance, take my age. I I I remember Soviet Union. After that, mm -hmm. uh, it it was uh, separation from Soviet Union. It was uh, few revolution. It was COVID. It was occupation. A lot, a lot, a lot of things. So, and <clears throat> and Ukrainian uh, have a habits to survive especially Ukrainian entrepreneurs mm -hmm. know how it could be difficult. And, uh, and uh, so we need to be creative mm -hmm. for survival. Survival, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for survival. And uh, if you're talking about um, business background uh, in Ukraine, I, as I mentioned before, I mm -hmm. had um, two lined business line. I started as consultant company and uh, we help uh, people to establish business and uh, to buy business mm -hmm. we help people to invest their money so because uh, there are there is some lack of financial education in ukraine mm -hmm. yeah because if you're talking about ever average level of knowledge financial knowledge in mm -hmm. ukraine it was a little bit a little bit less than okay the world so it uh, was interesting but to some extent it was uh, it's become a little boring for me and i and i had established uh entertainment center okay so i try combine these two activities first what was quite serious and to be honest a bit boring yeah. <laughs> with numbers with a lot of uh, key points a lot of a lot of uh, describe description and it was uh, another one more um more speaking with people with uh, make uh, kids because uh, our audience 90 percent mm -hmm. was kids okay good Play game celebration birthday party and this uh, make my life more cool i don't know Mm -hmm. I have my dedication in the finance, in the business, and I have some moral rest in another type of business. Mm -hmm. So, and when we uh, when we moved to England, um, I have I had to close the entertainment center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, consulting company was uh, more easy to move because uh, uh, obviously uh, a lot of processes was changed and uh, you know and uh, needs some clients uh, change their needs and uh, but anyway it's still it's still working it's still working and now uh, new audience come it's uh, ukrainians abroad who live abroad mm -hmm. they have um, their needs, all needs. So we try to help them and um, just make their life more easy. Okay. So the business club, I, so as soon as you came to England, you set up the business club or is the consulting the, the business club or is it both or are they separate? Um, you know, when, when we come to England, mm -hmm. I expect that that is... Oh, this whole situation, what we have with war, I I have some expectation that that it must pass it quickly. Yeah, yeah. maybe six months, maybe a year. That's all. It's mm -hmm. all finished, and I 
and I feel myself like I, I have opportunity to look at the country, mm-hmm. just a little bit increase my English mm-hmm. level, recognize other people, other culture. But after a year here and um, analyze the situation, I, um, I understood this it could be a long time uh, start to do some more specific action. I remove I remove some some my equipment from uh, to entertainment and yeah. establish uh, entertainment business here. It's not so big and develop it for now. But anyway, step by step, little by little, we we pro- we provide some services and we um, we try to try to increase our reputation mm-hmm. and recommendation from our customers. And yeah. at the same time, the same time, um, obviously, I, I, I'm always continuing my, some of my consulting services. Yeah, was some big um, um, big pause, not so big, but pause. Mm-hmm. The connection this uh, what happened but anyway i continue do that and a uh, year ago year ago we mm. have our first meeting when because uh, firstly we will be happy and we still happy meet ukrainians mm-hmm. yeah just just find find somebody who can speak with you your native language yes it's like a, a soul, yeah, it's relief. I yeah, don't know. okay. Yeah, and uh, uh, at the same time, uh, we, um, I recognize some needs of mine and needs of my colleague mm-hmm. who wants to uh, speak more and uh, com- um, united with business people. Yeah, with people who want to make business because you know different people ask different questions. Mm-hmm. Some, someone, and we, if we're talking about <clears throat> Ukrainian uh, as a group who arrived mm-hmm. to UK, yeah, you know, uh, 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 everything the same like as a group. Yeah, every society is structured. Yeah. yeah? It uh, could be people with uh, with uh, different level of education, different level financial level, and uh, a lot of differences. Yeah, and yeah. so for for we united uh, people for business needs mm-hmm. and try to try to um, have some rules. Yeah. Somebody don't like these rules because yes. people like to be free. <laughs> and and, and <laughs> what I want to say, the freedom that one of the most value of Ukrainians, yeah. yet they free, mm-hmm. want to be free. They mm-hmm. uh, quite often it's uh, they don't want we don't want to have uh, some rules, especially yeah. if. Not our rules. Yeah. Anyways, for for business or for good life or for any achievement, what I w- we want to uh, to obtain, yeah. you need to establish some principles. Sure. You need to establish some value, some rules, and doing according to them. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, we, Established this community, and now in our community, more there than five hundred people. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, it's become it's become interesting, and people people on the different level of starting business. Yeah, almost uh, half of them just dream about business yeah. and uh, want uh, plan to do their business, but doesn't start. No. Yeah, and um, about um, about ten, fifteen, or even twenty percent mm-hmm. already start and doing some make some action, uh, face the challenges, yeah. <laughs> and try to 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 break the ice. <laughs> Great. So I mean, that is one of the most important things. Having a dream is good. 
But until you take action, nothing happens. And of course, like you said, you, you need a good business plan, especially if you want to borrow money from the bank or from friends to set up your business. So Yeah, absolutely. So I, I know for in, in Doncaster, we have a lot of people that are involved in, um, well, some of them have set up businesses, and especially Sheffield as well, in cafes. Uh, they're interested in hairdressing, nails. Uh, we have one lady that sells cars online. And uh, I noticed that on your um, business club, you have um, a group of guys that are builders and decorators. So give me some idea of what sort of businesses uh, Ukrainians living in in UK, what sort of businesses are they wanting to do? Uh, yeah, it's an interesting question. You know, people um, people doing different job, mm -hmm. different. Um, absolutely, it could be, for instance, um, uh, when 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 we all came to the Britain, yeah, just. Uh, uh, a lot of people go to work in, uh, I don't know, in a factory, in a cleaning careers, mm -hmm. because it doesn't demand uh, knowing English. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's the reason. I guess, I guess every refugees, every immigrants in, in UK start the same, yeah? Yes, they do, yeah. If you want to have a job and you don't know, enough English <laughs> you need to you have quite limited choices yeah <laughs> sure yeah and uh, Ukrainian go to the job it's interesting statistic that more than 60 percent of Ukrainian refugees mm -hmm. have a job okay they we we are really hard working people be honest mm -hmm. yeah yeah because because I read some article about different group of uh, different group of refugees, and some of them just uh, waiting and take the benefits and yeah. do nothing, but we have uh, more than six, sixty percent of our people who sure. working hard. Yeah. yeah, and if, if we're talking about business, um, according to our data. Mm, People start business in the probably four areas. Mm -hmm. It's a cleaning. Yeah. So as I mentioned, people yeah. go to cleaning fields, mm -hmm. learn everything. Oh, I can do the same by my own. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <Yeah. laughs> Next one, it's a beauty industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, mostly uh, Ukrainian refugees mostly are women. Yeah, women with kids, women, uh, and uh, they are open the nail service, uh, hairdressers, I don't know, spa procedure, yeah, massages, yeah. a lot of, a lot of different, yeah, different yeah. services. Yeah. Next one probably is construction. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Ne next is construction because it's also have not big demands for language mm -hmm. and uh, it's a it's a some and another one it's a everything which connecting with food yeah yeah every ukrainian woman could uh, good uh, good cooker yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and uh, we try to we try to fat everyone who who we ha have have. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, and we, you know, uh, you know about this delicious Ukrainian dishes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but the big question about adaptation, mm -hmm. yeah, big question. Uh, for instance, uh, some Ukrainians open the Ukrainian franchise mm -hmm. here. When people buy, don't cook in in own kitchen, just buy something, yeah. put in the microwave or put in the boil water and it's mm -hmm. all. But <clears throat> another one, good question, my colleague uh, uh, who has a restaurant in Ukraine yeah. and has a bistro in Cambridge. Oh, okay. They, they try to combine these activities and make very do very important things. 
she adapted Ukrainian national kitchen to English tasters. Yeah. English foods, yeah. For instance, if you're talking about borscht, the most famous Ukraine, probably most mm -hmm. famous Ukrainian dish, the, uh, she tried uh, doing borscht more uh, familiar for, for English. Yeah. Give you some in Indian recipe, add some interesting spices, mm -hmm. and make some difference. It's still borscht. Mm -hmm. But uh, it has an um, interesting taste. Sure. And, and I hope it will be more familiar. And yeah. uh, we, now we help our people uh, make it, it more structure, more yeah. systematic, and become a chain, for instance. Yeah. Why not? Okay, that's great. Look, Hanati, we're running a little bit out of time now. So what I wanted to ask you was, can you give any... Um, business people any advice and if they want to contact you or get involved with your business club uh, how do they do that please yeah uh, we have a, if we're talking about business club we have a site we have a facebook instagram so i hope we can uh, we can have this link uh, yeah sure we'll put it below under, under the video below yes. So, so, and also we have a community in WhatsApp. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's uh, big people ask different questions and yes. advise uh, each other. And uh, so please join us to our community yeah. and uh, consider some become official member of club. It's, you know, it's everything yeah. about communication, everything about openness. Yeah. Because if you give something, yeah. it's turned it turn to you with uh, bigger, bigger some. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, uh, so, yeah, sorry. so I was going to say, so what I've noticed on, because obviously I'm part of your group, I've, I've noticed that um, People are on a different journey. So some people have just started the business or thinking about it. Some people are already doing it. And it's great because all these people can share their ideas and, you know, it helps them be stronger, more motivated. And also uh, they save a lot of money because they don't make those same mistakes and lose money. So that's really good. Yeah, yeah. To some, to some, uh, it, it's the reason. Yeah, yeah, you're right. People on the different, uh, different level uh, yeah. or in business, and the reason why we establish uh, official membership in business, it's yeah. the people who already start their business. Yeah, and uh, they ask a little bit different question. Yeah, sure. Yeah, little bit different. Yeah. And if we're talking about some advice, some general advice to. Uh, to refugees, to Ukrainians yeah. who live in UK or yeah. even in different country, uh, let's say uh, it will be um, you need to learn local yeah. local situation. You sure. need to uh, recognize what local customer needs, yeah, and try to give them what they want. Yes. So and and. A good insight. Try to use the best Ukrainian practices. Yes. But for some reason, Ukraine, Ukraine, mm -hmm. as a country, as economy, more developed than yeah. the most developed country in the world. Oh, good. For instance, we 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 have brilliant IT solution. Mm -hmm. For instance, in the government areas, here, here, in the private areas, we have interesting ideas in a service especially yeah. in a service because we recognize this area uh, wants to be improved sure yeah <laughs> and it, it's the it's yeah. the end. and another one when i come here i become a member of english club and yes. i uh, meet people make some connection explain them what i how I can to be useful for them. Mm -hmm. Networking, networking. Yes, you, well, we, we, we know about it. You know, we, we have uh, some fun because we always say there's a difference between networking and not working. 
and it's good to know that we're networking. So, so that's fantastic. Well, <laughs> Hanadi, thank you ever so much. And I'm sure we will speak again soon. And um, good luck with your business club. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Steve, for yeah. having me. Thank you. It's it's very interesting uh, conversation, yeah. and I hope we will meet again and again. Yes. Sure. Thank you. Bye bye.